Right, so today the focus is on catching the ball in the most efficient way. So principles I coach when I'm coaching catching and passing. So I always talk about catching power, transferring power. So what do I mean by that? I remember the emphasis on catching the ball. So first thing I think about is locking into my body shape. So I want to be in a good, powerful body shape. Okay, body position is key. So as the ball is traveling from that direction, this is the shape I'm presenting. I'm presenting a big chest, hands is, I'm thinking about hands to shoulder. I don't want to reach too far for the ball. I'm thinking about hand in relation to the shoulder. Once I get myself in that body position, and I can lock in, I can do multiple things. I can think about the pass, I can think about my footwork, think about transferring the ball because I'm in a powerful body position. So most importantly is think about your body shape. So we've locked into a really powerful body, body position. Now, next thing I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about what's my hands doing. So as the ball is traveling, I'm adapting and adjusting my hands because I want to catch in motion where I can transfer. So my hands is already settling into a passing position. Now, key thing with the game is always about context. We never know where the ball's going to come, whether it's going to be high, low, on the ground. The most important thing is as the ball is traveling, I'm adapting and adjusting. Eyes locked in body shape is locked in so hands can travel and adapt with the ball if it comes a little bit lower I can just drop my knees and I'm still back into power I load myself into power which means I can transfer from there so a couple of things there already <clears throat> first body shape next thing I think about my hand positioning once I've got really good hand positioning next thing I focus on once I've got my my hands on the ball is what my fingers are doing the moment I lock my fingers into the ball, that means my wrist is in play. Forearm, bicep, shoulder. That's a powerful passing position. Okay, so I'm, I've catch, ball, hand positioning is, is an awesome position. Now I lock the fingers in. The moment the fingers are locked in, I've got my wrist in play. I've got my forearm, bicep, shoulder, which means I can, I can release a powerful pass at speed as I'm transferring the ball. So a few real simple ones there. To think about when your next coaching session, we think about body position. Am I in a powerful, am I loaded and locked into a powerful body position? Then I think about my hand positioning as my hands adjusting and adapting as the ball is traveling to me. Once I'm locked in, locked in on the ball and I'm in power, this is now a power position. I can lock my fingers in, fingers are in play, which means the full arm is in play, and then I can transfer through. And as I transfer the ball, I think big chest, okay? I'm already in power here, which automatically means I'm gonna power out of the core. Chest is big, bam! Now I can rifle and transfer the ball. So really, real key things there. Most importantly, the game is always in context, so we never know how the ball is gonna travel. But if we can put ourselves in the best possible position to have multiple options, whether we are already catching and passing, we can make the next decision, whether it's now stepping, moving, taking someone on in a one-on-one -on -one position. I'm Warren Abrams and this is Rugby Creative. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe this channel. Go and smash your catches.